Hi, Caesarin here with another video for Scourge Thee, and this video is going to cover map sustain and a little bit about the Atlas. And specifically, like, if you feel like you're running out of maps, you're not getting enough, especially red maps could be hard, that's what we're going to cover. So, some leagues, it'll be easier than others to build up a map pool and get, like, a large amount of tier 16s. That depends a little bit on, uh, sometimes the league mechanic will drop a lot of maps, sometimes it won't. It'll just be some variation, and obviously, there's always RNG. Sometimes you'll just be very unlucky. A lot of people feel like they don't really have a map pool, they have a map puddle. And, uh, I've mostly been staying in low maps, so I haven't really had a big problem. And even now, breaking into reds, I haven't had a big problem sustaining. As soon as I broke into, like, 115, I instantly started dropping maps. And I wanted to share some of the tips and tricks I do that I feel makes it easy for me to sustain maps. So the number one thing is sextants. Whenever I'm doing, especially like 14 to 16s, and especially the, like the earlier first ones, I'm always using sextants. Things that you really want to look out for here, like the, the most common and most important ones, are things like these. Ares contains six additional packs of monsters that deal fire damage. And there are loads of different ones of these. And the awakened ones go up to eight packs, and the difference, like, if you have four of these, that could be a thousand or eight hundred more monsters in your actual map. So it's a, it's a very large difference. And when you are adding this many monsters, everything you do sort of like, uh, it, it become compounds maybe is the word I'm looking for. Like they compound together to make each other worth more. So there's other things you can do as well. Uh, like for example, you can add scarabs. And both Shaper and Elder Scarabs add a large amount of extra monsters to the map. And the beauty of it, when you put in Shaper Elder Scarabs, all these extra monsters from the um, from the Sextants, they can also drop the Shaper and Elder loot. So everything like works together. And then you can throw in like uh, Cartography Scarabs. These are very, very good when you're doing your first 14s to 16s. I try to save them for at least 15 or 16s. So honestly, like Sextants is like the number one trick. You don't necessarily need Spam Awakens you'll see a very big difference between just using sextants or not. And uh, there are some like good ones that are worth keeping. Like for example, I would always move this to Hayward Camelot because I have the Amplify one, right? So I want like the higher tier essences. And then a Gloom Shrine, it'll have some monsters around it and it's fun for clearing. I usually don't roll over that. But if you're like, just looking for juice, these uh, are really, really good. Now, there are two worth mentioning that you want to watch out for. The ones that have like monsters that, uh, something about life, um, they are, it's, uh, basically it makes your potions instant. And this can be really, really bad if you are like me and you're using an enduring mana flask. Because the one that specifies your life flask are instant, they'll make your mana flask instant as well. So, it, I roll over that because it's just such a pain to clear them up. Another thing, not a problem for this build, physical monsters, they have proximity shields. So if you don't like proximity shields, you want to roll over that one. Other than that, there's just loads. And Hunter Traders, for example, is one of the best things you can get. It's just a lot of really rewarding monsters. And this will help a large amount with your map sustain. Another thing that can... Um, a lot of people don't necessarily know how to put in their, their watchstones. And that can hurt people as well. And the number one thing I really want to drive home here is to understand how map drops and stuff work. So if you can't search for the map, it can't drop. So there might be some people watching right now that, ha that would have all four watchstones in, right? Like you have four, 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 four. That means you cannot drop tier 13 maps and below. This might be bad for new characters. It might be bad for, for other reasons as well. But if you can't search for it, like for example, right now I'm not in a position to drop a tier 12 or tier 8 malformation. I can only drop a tier 15 malformation. There's some small ex um, exceptions to this. Like Aziri isn't... Uh, managed by our um, atlas but for the for most purposes this is very very important another thing as well is maybe you have all your four regions filled in but you really want to drop tier 16s here in Hayward Hamlet and so it's important to know that you can manage what drops quite a lot because now you can see that all these are lit up as tier 16s so when the game goes does a tier 16 drop it'll choose between all those maps Whereas just by even removing these two, now I'm only dropping tier 16s in Hayward Hamlet. What I like to do is I like to do it as a staircase type thing, where I like to have at least one region with four, one with three, and one with two. And then it's it can be decent to have one with one as well, just to get uh, low level maps for new characters and leveling new characters. We can quickly explain how the favorite map system works as well. 
Favorite map system is unlocked by completing all non-unique maps in the region. And then the second slot by doing all bonus objectives. Bonus objectives would be on a white map, you just cleared while blue. On a yellow map, you cleared while uh, alchemied. And on a red map, while uh, rare, alchemied, and corrupted. The way this works, we can do a, a quick, easy demonstration with the with the maps we have. Right now, let's say that we only have those three. That, that map up there, I can't hover over it. It doesn't exist. If a tier 16 drops right now, the game will go... Am I dropping an Acid Cavern, a Mace, or an Overgrown Ruin? If I then add Overgrown Ruin to my favorite, this is what happens. Now it'll go, am I dropping an Acid Cavern, a Mace, or an Overgrown Ruin, Overgrown Ruin? Like it'll, it'll basically like have so many more. And then if you triple favorite the map, it'll basically look like this. And then you can see that you're most of the time with a triple favorite going to drop that. Now, there are some positions on the Atlas. Here, here's a good example. Now, Dungeon is my only tier 8. If I triple favorite this right now, I'm not going to drop more Dungeons. Because it's already the only thing I'm dropping. Like, favorite is just that it's prioritizing that being the map you're dropping. It's not more maps dropping. And then, another thing that's important is just getting a higher bonus objective. It doesn't make you drop more maps, but it will make maps be a higher tier on average. So, it is worth doing. So... Again, to summarize, sextons, very, very important. Um, chiseling, also very important. Do it while the map is white before you craft it. It'll all add up and, and help. Now, another thing as well that can help, uh, silver coins. Probably why a lot of people are just sitting there with a 50, 100 silver coins, whatever, and maybe they're filtering them out and not using them. But there are loads of uh, silver coins like A Plague of Rats, The Undead Storm, and several others that just add a bunch of monsters to the map and they can drop maps as well. There are also Zana mods. Uh, Bloodlines, for example, is really, really good for map sustain. It adds a lot of blue monsters to the map and they can drop quite a lot of monsters. Another thing that can be really good for map sustain is Delve Cities. They look like this. And, you know, if you go find a... Uh, they, they're very common now or a lot more common than before. They'll sometimes have bosses, but they also drop a large amount of maps. So very, very good for sustain. And then uh, on top of that as well, make sure you're using your Zana missions. And remember, whatever she sells you, that resets every time you do a mission, whenever you activate the mission. And she will give you better maps the higher your bonus completion is. So I hope this helps with map sustain for this league and good luck, it's courage. Sub if you liked the video, but more importantly, try to die less than I do.